Hello and welcome cycling fans, it's almost my favorite day of the year, we're in the middle of the summer here in Europe and the Tour de France is about to start, so what more can I wish for? It is a 206 kilometers long first stage of the Tour de France 2024 from the beautiful Italian city of Florence to the coastal city of Rimini on the Adriatic coast. We have seven categorized climbs on the menu, a lot of climbing, a lot of attacks to come. So let's look at the profile. Uh, first climb is uh, Col de Valico Trefagi, 12.5 uh, kilometers at 5.1%. Uh, so this is the like first good opportunity to form a breakaway. I expect a lot of teams to want to go and attack tomorrow to get in the breakaway uh, teams like EF, uh, Movistar, uh, DSM, they are looking for uh, stages, they are for sure going to try with uh, Betiol, Aramburu, Healy, maybe even Roman Bardet, this is the kind of terrain that shoots him. Then we have a long downhill section, uh, next two climbs are a bit like uh, not as important but then we have four consecutive climbs in the last 50 kilometers of the stage first uh, Cote de Barboto 5.8 kilometers 7.6 percent uh, pretty nasty climb then Cote de San Leo 4.6 kilometers at 7.7 percent maybe here uh, we can see someone attacking attacking even from the main group uh, then uh, Cote de Monte Maggio 4.2 kilometers at 6.6 percent and the last climb uh, to San Marino in the small country is 7.1 kilometers long at 4.8 percent so a bit shallower climb uh, what can we expect in this stage apart from uh, attacks from the from the breakaway guys well i think that we can see some gc action here uh, we know that this is the kind of stage that suits pogacar a vingegor hasn't raised all season since uh, his uh, crash in the Basque country it is a uh, pretty unknown uh, how good of a con condition he is in uh, Remco looked sick but also this is the terrain that suits him as well so maybe uh, Sudal and uh, UAE can cook something tomorrow or, or rather on Saturday so it will be interesting to see uh, Bora I think will be more on the defensive for Roglic as they have uh, a lot of stages which suits him and they will try uh, to go for him there little check of course uh, maybe with uh, Squinch, uh, Ineos with uh, Tom Pitcock, uh, Garrett Thomas a lot of guys in the mix this is like the most stacked uh, tour lineup in years uh, everyone from top 20 are like here maybe we're just missing the top sprinters in uh, Merlier and uh, and Jonathan Milan, but uh, everyone that uh, means something in cycling uh, is here racing. So uh, this stage is going from Florence uh, to Rimini, which means that we are going uh, to the east all day long, uh, passing through this uh, city or rather country of San Marino, and uh, the weather will be really, really hot, some uh, 30 degrees all day long, even, even uh, higher degrees in Florence, some 35 degrees, and the wind will be from the east, that means it will be a headwind for most of the day, maybe that will uh, discourage someone from attacking, but uh, we will see. Before I look at the bookmakers odds, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a preview of a Grand Tour stage ever again. Also tell me in the comments who do you think is going to win and who will take that first uh, yellow jersey, what everyone is wishing for tomorrow. So before I look at bootmaker's odds, I will just have to say that my pick for tomorrow is uh, Tadej Pogacar, but let's look what the bookmakers have. And they also have him as the top favorite at three. Those are pretty nice odds for him, I think. Uh, they think that Wout van Aert can survive those climbs. His uh, shape or condition is also unknown uh, since his crash. In, uh, in in April. Uh, then Alberto Betiol, of course, uh, for Italy in his uh, Tricolore jersey. He's the Italian champion. Matthew Van Der Poel, I don't really think that he's here for stage hunting. This is more like a preparation for him for the Olympics and also to be the main lead out guy for Jasper Disaster, Jasper Philipsen. Remco Evenpool, of course, uh, 
Primoz Roglic, Maxim van Hills, of course, he's the breakaway specialist and, and this is the terrain that suits him uh, perfectly. Tom Pitcock, Magnus Kort from, from Unix, they are here to win the stages and what better way to start with the yellow jersey for the small Norwegian team. Michael Matthews, if he can survive the climbs, also can be a really good option. Alex Aramburu from the small uh, group as well. Ben Healy, uh, Steven uh, Williams, uh, Pele Bilbao. So it is a wide open stage. Uh, the bookmakers also don't know who is going to take it uh, with Pogacar as the favorite, of course. But like I said, it's going to be really, really interesting. Uh, will UA try to attack Vingigor with some of their other guys from the GC? Maybe Ayuso can go on the penultimate climb. Uh, maybe Adam Yates... Uh, also, uh, maybe Vlasov or Hindley can try and exploit uh, uh, Visma and see if they have some cracks in their armor because they are looking as weak as ever uh, in this season with all the uh, bad luck they had. So, I can't wait uh, for the tour to start. I hope uh, we will have a lot of fun and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so we can talk about it. Uh, like this video if you like my content, uh, share it if you want and I hope to see you on uh, Saturday for the preview of another thrilling stage 2. Have a great day and bye.